Hello! In this video, we will take a look at the ledgers in the finances. The ledger compiles the cash accounts and bank accounts that you use for your banking operations. First, let's go to the special area. The ledger accounts are recorded in your chart of accounts, which can be found here. Let's start by looking at the account 1000 Petty Cash in more detail. Open the account settings with a double click. The tab Settings contains general information. You may edit the account's number and name at any time. You can also define the type of this account. Click on the tab Ledger to configure the account as a ledger. Here you can see that the box Serve as Ledger is checked. This informs TimeSense Legal that this account is used for payments and it displays the corresponding additional options. You may then specify a prefix and the number for the manual recording of revenues and expenses. In order to distinguish the accounts in the ledger, we recommend assigning a different color for each account. Select a light color to avoid having bright stripes in the accounts window. Since we are looking at a cash account, we'll leave the field Account Information empty. It is possible to authorize an employee to record payments directly on an account, even if said employee doesn't normally have access to the finances area. To do so, simply select the employee you want to grant permission in the list. Let's have a look at how the account will appear in Ernest's working space. We now see this new icon. Erna may click on it to have direct access to petty cash and enter payments even if she does not have access to accounting. Now let's go back to Special and take a look at the Savings account. We want the details of the bank to be included when invoices are printed. To do this, we have to write them down in the field Account Information as shown here. In another video, we will see how to program your invoice templates so they include this text automatically. If you are using multilingual invoice templates, you can also translate the banking details here. Each account in your chart of accounts, whether liability or asset account, may be turned into a ledger. In the area of finances, we can find all the accounts that we have turned into ledgers. Each account may be opened in its own window. You can now easily distinguish the different accounts thanks to the assigned colors. Now let's examine how the ledger account windows work. The window is displayed following the traditional style of cash books. The first column indicates the day of the accounting record. The second column contains a field for text. The third column shows which contact is linked to the entry. You may also connect the entry to a case in the fourth column. The column document contains a reference assigned by Time Center Legal or a sequential numbering if you have chosen so. The column account contains the offset account number. In order to make it easy for people with little accounting experience, we have substituted the terms debit and credit with in and out. You may modify the look of the columns with a right click on the columns header. This way you can either show or hide certain columns, but the default view should generally be fine. In the top part of the window, you can browse through different months. You may use the arrows or the menu to go to other months or years. The view is always displayed on a monthly basis. If you record a payment in the list of debtors, it will appear automatically in the corresponding account in the ledger. It is not necessary to record payments again, as they are automatically registered. But you should match this window with your bank statement every month. Missing ins and outs must be added manually. Click on the plus sign to add a new accounting record. Time Center Legal will already suggest a day, which you can, of course, change as needed. Use the tab key to go to the text column. Here you may enter a text of your choice. The utility area in the bottom shows the last texts recorded. If you click on one of these texts, TimeSense Legal will automatically use it for your transaction. Let's move to the next column by pressing the tab key. As long as the record is incomplete, it is shown in red. 
If Time Sense Illegal recognizes your entry, the connection is made immediately. If not, you may open the selector window through the action menu. You may ignore the column case if the expense is not related to a specific case. You can modify the suggested number for the document as you please. Let's continue with the column account. The utility area now shows the chart of accounts. Here you have different possibilities on how to get to the right account. The first option is to simply write the account's name. Time Sensor Legal will scan the chart of accounts for the entered name and suggest the right one which you can then just click on. You can also simply scroll through the accounts and choose the one you want to be used. The last option is to just write the number of the account down if you know it by heart. Let's move to the column out. Here we enter the amount that was spent and confirm the entry with the enter key. You can also add tags if needed. We have now finished recording the expense. Now let's take a look at the other icons. Next to the plus icon is the minus icon, which allows you to delete accounting records entered manually. By clicking on the info icon, you may display accounting information. You can enter additional commentaries here. For accounting and foreign currencies, you may also set the exchange rate in this window. In the tab documents, you have the option to add documents to the accounting. It allows you to add receipts, for example. You can manage templates by clicking on Modify in the Action menu. These can be helpful when you have recurring expenses. In the series of icons at the bottom of the window, there is a search function. This icon opens a search window which allows you to make a search in the ledger according to various criteria. For instance, let's look at all the expenses for stamps. From January to April, we ordered stamps twice. The small calendar icon allows you to jump to any date. The printer icon allows you to print the account in a banking or cash book format. The last icon refreshes the view. This is particularly useful in a network or a big company. We have now reached the end of this video. Thank you and see you next time.